Under pressure, mama dig on the eye. Nigga like me cannot fuck on no bitch. Black tail, black fish, shit. Rented car, scamming car flips. Yo, hello, it's Reva here, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a dripping 3D text this time. And if you guys want to support me, I have a website where you can buy some editing packs, so feel free to check that out. But yeah, let's get right into this. So the first thing we are going to do is to make a text layer, and here we are gonna want to type uh, whatever we want our text to say so i'm going to make my text say dripping and the font i'm using is akira expanded and uh, these are the other text settings i will be using here and then we're going to right click press new and then make a solid layer and you can rename this to 3d text and here we're going to add element 3d just like that uh, and here you're going to open up custom layer custom text and masks and then here uh, select the dripping and then we're going to go to the scene setup here and here we are gonna extrude our text here and we're going to increase the bevel size to 15 here so make your text uh, this thick so yeah now we can uh, leave this we're not going to apply any, uh, any shaders or bevels for this and then now we are going to uh, change the position of this text here. So you're going to open up group one, uh, particle look, and uh, fix the sizing a little bit. So I'm going to go with 6.8. And then we're going to open up particle rotation. And here I'm going to rotate mine on the X radius minus 90 degrees. And then on the Y rotation, 42. And on the Z rotation, 5. Something like that looks good. It's not so centered for the moment, but uh, we will fix that in the ending. And now we're also going to make the shadows more realistic. And the way to do that is to open up render settings here and then open up ambient occlusion. This is probably the most important setting when you're using uh, Element 3D. This makes your objects or text a lot more realistic here. So you wanna enable AO here and then increase the SSAO to 50. You can already see it looks insanely more realistic here. After that we're going to add a effect now called wave warp and here we're going to change the wave height to 11 and the wave width to 266. So you guys can see it gets a little bit a wave to it. Then we're going to change the wave speed to 0.2. And the next effect we're going to add to this is called Duotone. And here we're going to select two colors. Uh, and I'm going to start off with red. And then go down a little bit this way. And then for the other color, select yellow. And now press invert. And here you maybe want to change the colors here a little bit. But I'm going to go with this color. Looks pretty cool. After you have uh, selected your colors here, we're going to make the drip effect now essentially so we're gonna wanna press ctrl alt y to make a new adjustment layer and here we're gonna rename it to uh, lick v5 uh, and that's what the effect is called so we're going to add that okay so now you're going to uh, make the text drip uh, underneath here uh, so you have your drag tool here uh, you can just uh, hold in and you know make these dripping things here uh, you want to have a little bit variation uh, between the drips here so I'm going to start off with this uh, settings here and the brush pressure drag this down there go here mess around here a little bit so yeah something like this looks good in my opinion just gotta mess around a little bit make some drips here underneath the text and when you're done with that we're going to continue on on the next effect and uh, the next effect is going to be a gradient so we're going to press ctrl alt y again to make a new adjustment layer and here we're going to add gradient ramp and the start ramp here is going to be 106 then 652 for me here so underneath the text and then this one 
above the text here and this one something like that looks good and now we're going to change the blending mode to overlay it looks something like this instead gets a little bit of a shine here it's a lot a lot better in my opinion and the next effect we're going to add is called cartoon so you're going to press ctrl alt y again to make a new ad adjustment layer and then search up cartoon and the settings here we're going to be using uh, our detail radius zero shading steps two uh, threshold 10 uh, width 0 0.2 softness 0 and you're going to open up advanced here then black level 1 and that should be good that looks pretty pretty clean in my opinion so our text went from this to this and it, it makes these edges here pop a lot more and the next effect we're going to add is called sharpen and the sharpen amount here we're going to have is going to be 10 and now we're going to make one more gradient effect here but with the uh, pen tool here so you're going to just drag one line in the middle of the text like this just like that and then we're going to open up the shape layer uh, content shape stroke then here color should be white and the stroke width should be something like this now we're going to track a mat to this so we're going to track this 3d text here and uh, you're going to press ctrl d to duplicate the text here and then and then we're going to use the upper one uh, for the mat for this just like that and then we're going to go back change the position uh, a little bit so go up 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 something like that looks good and we don't want to have this sharp line here so we're going to add box blur here and the box blur settings I will be using here will be 10 or something like that. And then we're going to change the blending mode to soft light. Pretty cool in my opinion. And increase it to 15 the box blur radius. So yeah, something like that. And the next effect is going to be deep glow. So we're going to press Ctrl Alt Y for a new adjustment layer and then deep glow. And I'm going to increase the radius to 558. And the exposure is going to be 0 0.5. Smooth blending, turn it on, and threshold 0. Looks pretty, pretty clean. And for some extra touches, I'm going to be adding a noise to this. And if you wanna, if you wanna do some more details on this, you can add a uh, texture. I have this video texture I used the last time. And uh, here we can matte again. Change the blending mode to subtract. And then I'm going to drag this down here. And I um, will be dragging down the opacity a little bit because that is a little bit too much. Something like that. Very good. And then for the uh, last effect, I'm, we're just, just going to zoom in a little bit here. So I'm going to go with 126 around that. And then change the position to something like that. Looks good in my opinion. And I can see now that I want the texture to play uh, out a little bit uh, slower. So I'm going to press Ctrl Alt T on the layer and just drag the keyframe away a little bit more. Yeah, you can mess around a lot with this. I just increase the opacity to 35% on the texture here. Revy from the future here. I thought about one more thing you could do to make this text a, a little bit more realistic, and that is to uh, enable the 3D mode on the uh, texture uh, layer we just did, and then, and then rotate it the way, the same way the text is. So something like that. Uh, this is basically how you made the dripping 3D text and uh, yeah, if you guys want to support me, I have a website, feel free to check that one out. And if you guys have any ideas on tutorials I can make, please comment that down below or DM me on my socials. But yeah, like and subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Take care and have a nice day.